Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. So today we're going to be testing the RX 9060 XT Power Color Hair Hair Edition of the card. We're going to be playing Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. I'm going to be pairing the Ryzen 9800X3D. We're going to be running 32GB of DDDR5, 6000MHz RAM. Here's how the GP looks inside of the Asus Siberian case. All right, guys, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so we're starting out with uh, 4K here. We have Eversong quality here. And we do have the high preset on here, so... Here are all the settings. Uh, I don't know why this is on. Turn that off. Turn motion blur off as well. And yeah, here are the settings, guys. Back in the game here. All right. So we're getting like 64 FPS here, which is pretty decent, guys. You know, this considering this is not a 4K card, you know. So and we are playing with pretty high settings here as well. So 60 FPS is pretty decent. We still have frame generation to put on as well. So it uh, should help quite a bit here. So... Uh, but yeah, I am in this area as well, guys, like this area that I normally test now because I've noticed that this area is really good to see the performance here because uh, we're going to get to the end there where that water is and that's, and I've noticed that that area is very intense here in this game. So I just keep staying in this area because it just seems to be a really decent area to test these cards. So here we're getting like 65 FPS, but watch when we get there, we should drop by a bit of FPS. So uh, I'm going to show you guys that in a minute there, but... Uh, we're using 10 gigabytes of VRAM here as well, so not too bad considering, you know, this is 4K high settings here, so uh, it's not too bad at all. 175 watts here, getting uh, absolutely chugged. 16 gigabytes of uh, system RAM getting chugged as well. And this is the area I was talking about. I don't know why it's not dropping. Surprisingly, it's not dropping. Because usually here, it drops to like, I don't know, 20 FPS or even more, but... Seems to be running fairly well. So if it's running fairly well here, you should be probably fine everywhere else, guys. So you, you can literally play this game in the 4K here. High settings. That's actually a really impressive, guys. Wow. The Last of Us Part 2 remastered, guys. 4K high settings here. And it looks absolutely insane. And we can play that with this card. That is very impressive, honestly. It really is. And we still have frame gen to put on as well. So that's another thing. I'm going to try probably... Balance FSR quickly just to see how much FPS more we can get here. We probably won't get too much, uh, you know, worse of an image here. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to pop that on quickly, guys. All right, guys, so we're still in 4K here. FSR on balance now. And the same sound as before. So I just put the, you know, high preset here. So the high preset's on here. Here it is. Okay, so we can like six, maybe seven FPS more here. So... It's a pretty big bump here, so I would actually, if you, for some reason you have a 4K monitor, you can play this, uh, play this game here pretty well here with 70 FPS. Put it on balance, you can get more FPS. It looks practically the same as uh, quality did as well, and, you know, it's very playable now, even more playable than it was before. And also, guys, I'm probably going to do an undervolting video, because you can get quite a bit of juice out of this card, I have to say. Uh, I was able to, I think I was, I think I was able to get like 5 FPS more on like, I don't know, this game for example. So if I'm getting 70, I was getting like 75. It's like turning balance on basically here. So yeah, it's a pretty big bump guys. I, I think I'm going to make a video like that later, but I am working on the review right now. So uh, if you guys are interested in the review of this card, this Hellhound card, please make sure to subscribe here and like the video because uh, I'm going to get it out. It might actually be out before this video. So uh, yeah, but... I should have out very soon because I'm just recording all these videos since I have the card in my PC. Uh, I'm going to take out, you know, do do some more, uh, test the 5060 basically against this card. And yeah, I'm going to get that review out soon. So yeah, uh, but the reviews do take quite a bit here. So uh, we're using 10 gigabytes of VRAM still here, guys. It's pretty decent. Honestly, it's, if it's running really well in this area, you should be completely fine every house. So it's pretty impressive stuff, guys. Honestly, this card is blew me away for 350 pounds it generally is insane and you can get cheaper models as well this is like one of the most expensive models but you can get a cheaper model of i think it's called the pulse model or something like that and it's like 35 pound cheaper so uh yeah it's honestly impressive stuff where you can get for 300 pounds nowadays but uh thanks to amd here with that 16 gigabytes it's just amazing honestly guys but uh, yeah, we're going to try out some different settings now quickly. I think I might pop frame gen on quickly. All right, guys, so we're still in 4K here, and I did put FSR on quality here again, and I did put uh, frame generation on here as well. The same settings as before, so we're still on a high preset here. Here we are. Same preset here on the high. 
And we're getting 90 to 100 FPS now, guys. And it's a little bit smoother now, honestly. That frame generation, I do love it, guys. I really do love it. it I don't know. I know a lot of people hate on it, but it is a part of these cards. Like, it's basically 50-50, guys. You pay half for the, you know, for the hardware, and you pay half for the software that these cards offer. Because look at this. Like, we're getting 100 FPS, and it, it doesn't feel that, that much delayed. It really doesn't. It feels quite... It's, smooth and we're getting 100 fps here we are using like around a gig more as well on the vram but that's you know that's normal because you don't normally do use more uh vram here when using frame generation so but yeah it's just so smooth guys like i do recommend frame generation guys honestly you should try out for yourself honestly don't listen to people saying oh it's not it's not good try out for yourself play with it for a little bit get used to it and i think you're gonna love it man honestly you're gonna love it like Look at this FPS. We're getting 100 FPS in 4K here with this card. I don't know you guys are going to say in the comments, fra fake frames, fake frames, but... Jenny, Jenny is amazing, though. I really do love this technology. I was hating on it a little bit myself, a little bit. But then I realized that, you know, it is what it is now. You have to deal with it. So, you know, these features are here to, you know, give you a better experience. So you just have to use them, so... But yeah, I think we've got to jump to 1440p now, guys. All right, guys, so we're in 1440p now. I turned everything off, so I turned all the FSR and everything off. I was going to test it first with FSR and quality here, but I know I'm going to get the comments in a minute saying, oh, why are you not testing native resolution here? So I'm going to test that native resolution for you guys. Uh, okay, very high settings as well. Everything's fully maxed out here. Um, let's see if everything's, yeah, everything's applied there. Okay. Okay, so we're getting... Like 60 FPS here. The game looks very shimmery here with, you know, no upscaling or anything like that. So uh, it does look very shimmery, but uh, I'm going to test out for you guys because you guys always, you know, keep asking me about that, you know, native resolution here. So here you go. Uh, again, like, yeah, pretty decent FPS, guys. Like, it's running really well here because, you know, it is not running with any upscalers here. So it's pretty decent. It does look horrible, though, I have to say. It's just... I don't know, I, I just really love FSR 4 and DLSS 4. It just makes the game look so much better, but uh, you guys like to see this. So I'm just putting it on to show you guys. Pretty decent FPS. I'm going to try and go to that area that's really intense because I think here, without any, you know, FSR here, I think it will actually lag quite a bit. I think we are going to drop to like 40s. Let's have a look though. I'm not sure though. I'm really not sure. Let's have a look if it will. If it's just going to keep running really well. It could be that as well. Oh, so it is just still running really well. That's weird. We are using 9 gigabytes of VRAM as well. So not really that much less than we were using in 4K. From what I'm seeing. We're using the same power as well. Oh, it's dropped to 50s there a little bit. So a little bit into 50s. The 1% lows went down to 47. So I mean, it's not too bad, I guess. I am going to put FS on quality now quickly. All right, guys, so we're in 4040p here. We do have FSR on quality here. And we are playing on very high here. So everything's fully maxed out. And I'm testing it again because I realized that when I didn't restart the game from basically... I, di I did already test it now, but um, I was playing with native basically. And I turned it to FSR 4 here. And for some reason, I didn't think it activated properly. So I am testing it. Yeah, again, just in case here, just to not, you know, give you guys the wrong numbers here. So, yeah, it does seem to be running way better than it did before. Because before we were getting like 60 FPS here with FSO uh, on quality here. We are getting a little bit more now. So, yeah, yeah, it's way better than it was before. So, yeah, I'm just going to uh, cut that one out and just put this one in. Because, yeah, uh, we are using 9.2 gigabytes of VRAM here. It is really, really smooth now. It really is smooth still. So, uh, one percent lows are looking really good as well, so it's still you know around sixty FPS there, so really decent here. Uh, of course, she <laughs> of course she's following us here. Uh, this area is very intense, and it seems to be doing really well in this area. So you should be completely fine everywhere else as well. So that's good to see as well. Yeah, it's just a really smooth experience, guys. I really do like FSR four. It does look really good, and I think it's very on par with uh, DLSS four. It really is like. Uh, I think if you get these AMD cards, you're not gonna really be missing. You're not gonna really be missing out on much, honestly. It's just amazing, honestly, what they've been able to do with this generation. You know, giving you more VRAM for you know less price. FSR four as well, which is just amazing. And yeah, it's just it's just 
good stuff, guys. Honestly, it really is. I'm just really loving these cards now. And, you know, for this price, especially £350, and it gives you such a good experience. It's just insane. That's friendly. What are you talking about now? Um, all right, we're going to test out frame gen now quickly, boys. All right, guys, so we're still in 4040p. I did enable frame generation here, and we are still on FSR on quality here. And we're still on very high settings as well here, guys. So here you go. Very high settings. Okay. Let me start my thing again here. There you go. So we're getting like 130 FPS now. So it's a really big bump here, guys. It really is. I thought we we're going to get like 100, 110, but we are getting 120 FPS here. So really, really playable. And I do recommend frame generation here for this game. It really is just for all the games now. I really do recommend it, especially like, you know, these single player games. Not for FPS games, but single player games. It's just, it's just a fantastic technology, guys. It really is. Like, you know, when... When before would you be getting this FPS with, you know, with a card, you know, it's just, it's just amazing. Like 120 FPS here, 43p max settings. It really is amazing to see. Uh, the 1% lows are pretty low here though. I have to say 76 FPS is on the lower side, I would say, especially when we're hitting like 140 here, but it's still relatively smooth here. I have to say it really is. Uh, the VRAM hasn't really went up too much. I think it's about the same, surprisingly. Um, normally you should be getting more VRAM usage here when you're using frame gen, but for some reason we're not getting more usage here. So, I mean, it's, it's all right and it? it's not bad. Uh, she keeps following us as well. So that's lovely to see. <laughs> Likes to run uh, behind the horse here for some reason. And yeah, it's just running really well, guys, honestly. Uh, and do let me know what game to test with this card. Because, uh, yeah, give me some ideas, guys, what you guys want to see with this card. Because... It's honestly a fantastic card. It really is. I'm really happy with what AMD has been able to do here. Just amazing to see. 16 gigabytes. Definitely don't buy the 8 gigabyte models, guys. Especially for, like, the price difference that there is. It's really not a big difference in, you know, the the price. And you get so much more with that 60 gigabytes here. You can basically max any any game out with 4040p and you're chilling. So, yeah. All right, guys. So, we're still in 4040p here. I do have ever saw on quality. I did turn off frame generation here as well. And I did pull the high price on. And I did put the antistopic filtering thing here on a 16x six. I think it was on 8 uh, with that preset. So I did just put down 16 here. And everything else is as it was before. So yeah, everything is how the preset puts on basically. And we get 100 and 10 FPS here, so these settings are still really decent, guys. Honestly, it really is. So if you don't want to use frame generation, just lower the settings just a little bit, tad a little bit down, and you don't even need frame generation here, and you can get literally 100 FPS. So I think these settings could be better if someone doesn't like frame generation. Here you go, guys. It really doesn't look that much worse as well. So yeah, it looks fantastic here. Uh, we're using about the same VRAM as well, so not really a big difference in VRAM there. 1% lows are looking really good as well. It's just a very good experience, guys, in 4040p. I don't even know if I should test 1080p because if it's running this well in 4040p, I don't think there's an absolute need to even play in 1080p here. So I think I might just leave 1080p out of the equation here because, you know, we're getting 110 FPS here with 4040p high settings. So I don't think there's a need to test out 1080p. If you're getting 100 FPS here, you're going to be probably getting like 150 or something like that in 1080p. So you should be completely fine over there. Yeah, it's just running really well, guys. Let me know your thoughts on this card as well, guys, because I think it's a fantastic card, but let me know your opinion in the comments below here, guys. And I think I'm going to end the video here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to watch my review. I should probably have it out before this video. I'm not too sure. If I don't have it out, just keep an eye on it, guys, because I will have it out soon. Um, drop a, you know, drop a sub, guys. Help me out like that if you can. Uh, drop a like. Comment as well and see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.